ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Horn Frogs have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week in, as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. Tackle made around the 34-yard line. They run the option, and the pitch man will get credit for a nine-yard gain. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Ouch. Pretty big loss on the play, and I think they might want to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps run a screen. Maybe hit the tight end on a short pattern. This D-line is just a bit much to handle at this moment. Runs it left for a decent game. A gain of about four yards on the draw. They've got ten guys up. They're coming after the kick. The ball changes hands on the punt. Nice opening stand by the defense. Well, they had their opportunities here to make some plays to try to quiet this crowd but they weren't able to do it. If things keep going this way, this stadium is gonna get even louder. He's into the open field. And he's tackled around the 47 yard line. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. Tackle at the 48-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. That was the junior linebacker who'll get credit with the tackle there. He's at the 40. Brought down right around the 34. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. He's got it out to his tight end. Knocked out of bounds right around the 24-yard line. That's great execution. The quarterback made a nice throw, and the receiver was able to go up and make the play. the five and looking to cap this off with a touchdown they spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers quick strike and he drops it number 88 was the intended this is the eighth play of this drive that brings up second and goal all day every day any day watch 36 36 the mic and they make the stop at the two-yard line. And he gains around three on that keeper. He was playing the run all the way and was able to stop him quickly. Good job by that senior safety. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. Notre Dame is looking to go up by three. It's up, and he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Notre Dame's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. And he 
and he's taken down at about the 23-yard line. Two-yard loss for the halfback. It's second and 12. Ball on their own 23. Tackles him hard at the 11-yard line. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He makes it to the 48-yard line, and he was able to pick up some nice yards on the return. Well, the defense held him to three on their last possession. Pitching a shutout on this drive would be even better. Notre Dame holds a field goal lead. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 50. Second down. And he's sacked. Brad, not only did they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, or especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page. And they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. You can't block me. You can't block me. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. <laughs> Going for it all to the end zone. Oh, what an interception. When he was facing a big pass rush, the ball had no chance of being caught by one of his teammates. That's what pressure will do for any defense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Taken down on the 23 yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Hey, come on up, come on up. Hey, look 48. Hey, come on, Mike, 48. Right down, let's go. Ready. Come on. Caught, and that's a first down. And down he goes around the 41 yard line. Number two on the tackle. First down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 41. Makes the catch and look out. He's tackled at about the 47-yard line. That's a game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Don't get nervous. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike to 59. Taken down in the backfield. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. From their own 46 yard line, it's third down. He scrambles. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 3 nothing, Fighting Irish. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. He really got a hold of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. 
Offense comes back out looking to improve from their last effort. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. He's to the 40, the 50. And he's finally taken down at the 42. And the tailback almost broke it there. That's just being a phenomenal athlete. He took the handoff on the draw play and made some pretty impressive moves and got a ton of yards. And he stopped behind the line. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. So it's second and 14. Ball on the 46. Notre Dame is up by three. Blue seven. Here we go. Check him out. He's out of bounds at the 42 yard line. That's good for him. That brings us 30 to 10. 36 to Mike. And he hits him hard at the 49. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. The punt upcoming, and they're going to come after this one. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Across midfield. At the 30. To the 10. Touchdown, Horn Frogs. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. That receiver was so wide open as a quarterback, you just don't want to blow it. That's like having a wide open layup with nobody behind you, and you go up and you miss a layup. You don't want that to happen to you as a quarterback. So the quarterback did a nice job of staying in rhythm, making the easy throw and the touchdown for this wide receiver. He makes the PAT. TCU is ready to kick it away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. Fires quickly to the tight end. Tackle made around the 37-yard line. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. That brings up second. From their own 34-yard line, second down. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to come up with a sack. That makes it third and 15. Third down, 15 to go. Ball on their own 32. Four down, four down. I got two, got two, got two. Down, got two. Down. Got two. Down. He flings it. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. And they're going to have to bring on the punt team. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Tackle at the 20-yard line. 
The Horned Frogs right now are getting the play out of their quarterback that they expected, maybe even better than they expected. And now, as we get near halftime, there's going to have to be some adjustments made on the other side of the ball. Well, the defense has got to be happy we're getting close to halftime so they can go back to the drawing board and try to figure out a way to slow down this quarterback. Uh, I think that more often than not, you look back at the first half and you think about, okay, let's eliminate this, this, and this, and let's maybe try a completely different way of, of trying to attack. And in my opinion, they've got to take some chances and be more aggressive in trying to put pressure on it. What they've done so far hasn't worked. TCU holds a four-point lead. Has some daylight. He's to the 40. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. That's a D 14 yards on the play. It's first and 10. Ball on the 44. Roger, Roger. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Gets to about the 47 yard line. That's good for the three yards. That'll make it second to seven. Larry, Larry, Larry. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. 20. Black is 58. That's a great tackle at the 45 yard line. Gain of eight yards. That makes it first and From the 45 yard line. First down. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll make it second and four. He's in trouble. Makes the grab and steps out right away. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. From the 25-yard line, first down. Inside the 10, and he got it to the sophomore. He gets to 100 yards receiving with that grab. You know, if you were to ask this defense, who wants to cover this guy? I bet you nobody's going to raise their hand because this receiver is embarrassing them. Keep in mind, we're still in the second quarter, and this kid is putting up these numbers. Touchdown, TCU! He splits the uprights with the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Receiver and he dropped it. From their own 25 yard line. Second down. There's a strike complete. It'll bring him down at the 35. Scrambling. Notre Dame's going to use their first time out of the half here. So the sack makes this a second and long. Boy, this defense really came to play today. Well, they said before the game that they wanted to put a lot of pressure on this quarterback. They sure stuck to that plan. Going deep. The defender had it and then dropped it. He was that close to making a big play. His safety is kicking himself for dropping that one. They'll spread the field with five wide. Good open field tackle. That was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. Just a minute to go in the first half of play. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. 
He's taken down at the 29. The Horn Frogs took a while to get their offensive engine running. That baby's running smooth right now. You know, the offensive coordinator told us this week that they sometimes will start off a little bit slow because they're just kind of throwing out the different plays and formations. And then once they get a feel for how the defense is playing them, then they feel more confident that they can attack. And that's what we've seen so far today. Quick throw out to the receiver. And they make the stop at about the 39-yard line. First down. Ready! Red 18! He chucks it downfield. To the 20. And it's caught. Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Just throws this one away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. Quick pass, and he's tackled right around the 40. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Gets it out quickly to the back, but he can't haul it in. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Tight end's got the first. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down around the 39-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. And that'll do it for the first half. Still plenty of football to be played. TCU's up by 18. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Neither ground game very productive in that first half, David, and I really think it came down to each player on the defensive side executing their assignments and trying to get the positive self-determination they wanted from a defense. No doubt about it. And you look at the defense is doing such a great job stopping the run. That's the first thing that you do 99% of the time in meetings is what are we going to do first? Stop the run. Because that's usually the place where you can get gashed the most. It's the simplest. Quarterbacks don't have to go back and make reads. It's designed. You know what they're going to do. But it also comes down to the big boys up front and those big boys making holes. And right now, I don't see many holes. And I don't care if you have Barry Sanders. I don't care if you have the best running back of all time, whoever it is in your backfield. If there's not a hole, there's no yards to be made. There's nothing they can do. So the defensive line doing a great job stuffing the run. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Fred and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He sends this one deep. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. TCU's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he just gets rid of it. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Five wide. And he can't get away from the pressure. That's a loss of Third down. He airs it out. Can't make the grab. Number 10, he takes a receiver on the way. That makes it fourth and long. Oh, excellent punt. And down he goes at the 42. Taking the field again now is the offense, and I got to tell you, these guys have just been a defensive nightmare on the past few drives. He steps out right around the 44-yard line. That makes it second and eight from their own 44-yard line. It's second down. He's pushed out of bounds at the 45. That's good for a game of 11 yards. First down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Pitches it. He's got the corner. He's at the 30. He gets hit out of bounds at the 21 yard line. Now he took the pitch there and was able to get the first down. It's a nice option play. From the 21 yard line, it's first down. Fires it out. Knocked out of bounds around the three yard line. That's a team on the play. That, that makes, makes it first and goal. goal. They come out in a five-wide set. Quick throw, tight end, touchdown. That's his third toss for a score. What I'm noticing more and more about this guy is he's very patient with the ball, and it's resulting in some nice scores, just like we've seen today. And he adds the extra point. So that's a five-play, 58-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Horned Frog staff has got a winner on their hands. You've been around kids like this. They're just fun to be around. Hey, they're fun to be around, and I think it's infectious. His attitude, I think, uh, permeates throughout this entire offense and really uh, throughout the entire team. There's, it's no wonder this team is so competitive with him at, uh, at the front leading the way. Caught and up for the first down. And down he goes around the 44-yard line. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. He's tackled around the 49 yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. Here we go, here we go. 
It's caught first down and he's out of bounds. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle at about the 17 yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick strike and he drops it. Can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 17. this offense so tough to defend when you have a quarterback with the ability to run and throw and he gets down into this area of the field chances are he's going to find his way into the end zone he makes the PAT Notre Dame to kick and he got all of this one great kick and it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Horn Frogs had that hot hand on offense, and they just keep on going here in quarter number three. The greatest thing you could say about these guys today is consistency. They are moving the football and putting points up on the board. They're going to be tough to beat. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. From their own 22-yard line, second down. Check 59, Mike. Mike is 59. Mike Let's 59. go. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. That's good for a 12 yards. That'll make it 31. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. It's a good surge by the defense. They really disrupted the timing on that play and gave them no chance to get the first. Certainly they don't have the return on here. Looking for the corner. For TCU, they've been coming after the quarterback all day long. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. It's been a very well-rounded effort for this entire team, not just the defense. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. Quick strike to the receiver, and they hit him in the backfield. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Got an opening. Tackled after a decent pickup. Here's a give up the middle, tackled right away. And he was pretty much stuffed on that run. You know what, that was just a nice job by the defense in stopping him before he could get going and build up momentum. 
caught, open field, and he hits him hard at the 42-yard line. Zips it to the back. That's a great tackle at the 33. From the 33-yard line, first down. Caught out in the open, and he's level at the 26-yard line. That's three down and one to go. TCU's up by 18. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. He's on the run. The offense didn't get the playoff in time. Delay of game, offense. It'll be third down again after that penalty. Down. Yeah, now they have more yards to pick up for the first down. They line up for another third down, and they've had no problem converting their first two. Open receiver, no good. It's always a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with. But when you're behind, sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Fires out to his receiver. They'll bring him down right around the 36-yard line. And they get five yards from that completion. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. Slings it, and they make the stop right around the 42-yard line. First down. Here we go. 59, feel it hot. Makes the catch and look out. And he's tackled at the 20. That makes it first and 10. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Roger, Roger. Hey, look, 48. Hey, go, Mike. Here we go. Red 18. Red 18. Just like that. Check, 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 check. Hot, hot. Hot, hot. Nice run up the middle. 
That's a game of seven on that play. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Just under three to go in regulation. Ready! Red 18! Red 18! Motion me out. Scrambling around. Very good tackle in space. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Green 19. Green 19. Touchdown, Horn Frogs! And he hits the PAT. A nice six play, 69 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. We're late in the fourth quarter. This game has been a blowout for quite some time. And Kirk and I are just looking to make our flights. Watch two, watch two. Got a man tackled for a loss. Number 96. That'll bring up second and 15. From their own 20 yard line, second down. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. And they get nice yardage on that run. That makes it third and eleven. Passes it to the middle of the field. Well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter, but this game, quite frankly, has been over for a long time, and I'm ready for it to end. Booming kick. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. TCU staff and their fans got to be happy this guy's on their side. Well, with him making plays the way he did today, there's reason for their optimism and the reason they feel good about having him on their side. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. They just seem like they've been in the end zone time and time again. There's not much negative you can say about this performance. From their own 42 yard line. Second down. Ready. And now he's got room to run. Nice run, and he's brought down. The Horned Frogs know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should be good about their performance. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.